Hey there guys, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Conker's Pocket Tales. Right, so in the last episode we were in the search of the pickaxe, and this is where you find it. It's right at the entrance of the world, by the way, so you don't have to go that far to get it. It's in this area right here, there's a bunch of tulips. And, um, I don't really want to die, so I don't know how I'm going to show you this without dying, but... Yeah, it's near a river, so if you look... Just look for a river and you'll find it. Uh, pickaxe. Smash through rocks to discover hidden treasures. So now that we finally got the pickaxe, we have a lot of stuff to do in this episode. I am going to go back to Vultureville as well in this video. So, yeah. We have a lot of presents to get in the overworld with the pickaxe and invitations and things. There's nothing in this world to get um, with the pickaxe. I'm actually going to save. So... Oh damn it. <laughs> oh damn it. First game over. Going through Claw Swamp is such a pain in the ass. I, like, I had to start from the boss room and get all the way to where the pickaxe was, and I died like 50 times trying to get back there. I mean, if you had a lot of acorns, then yeah, it would be easier because you'd be able to get through it a lot quicker because you wouldn't die as many times. Like we did the first time we entered it, because when well, the first time we came into Claw Swamp, we had like 20 acorns or something like that. So, for the majority of this episode, we're just going to finish up the collection stuff, and um, and yeah, that'll basically be it. We, we won't have much else to do after that, we'll just be um, going to the final world, finishing that off, and... Um, no, please don't hit me. Damn it. How? Yeah, I just want to be like that. And this is the entrance, I believe. So yeah, it's not really that far. You have to go into the world to get the pickaxe. But to get everything else that's inside that world, then yeah, you do. But I'd, to be honest with you, if you're going to play this game on an emulator, I would recommend that you go to the Mako Islands first, because that world you get the saw. And then you can get everything in Claw Swamp as you go along, but if you're doing it on the Game Boy, then do Claw Swamp first, because it's a lot easier to do on the on the Game Boy. No, on, no yeah, Claw Swamp's a lot easier to do on the Game Boy, Mako Islands is a lot harder to do on the Game Boy, whereas on the emulator it's not the same. Mako Islands is much easier than Claw Swamp. Uh, that's kind of weird to say that, but <laughs> yeah, it is. It's true. Yeah. Because on a emulator, you can also hook up a PlayStation control controller and connect it by using a driver program so that the computer recognizes the controller. That's what I used to do with Major when I was LP Majora's Mask in Ocarina of Time. I didn't actually LP that game with a keyboard with the, with the keyboard. I actually LP'd that game with the PlayStation 3 controller. But as I said, bef as I said when I was LPing Majora's Mask like halfway through it that the program stopped working and the drivers wouldn't recognize so I had to use the keyboard for the other half of Majora's Mask so that's why I need to get myself a new controller um, to LP games on the emulator like I, yeah basically because it would be a lot easier to do with the controller but some games are actually doable with the keyboard on N64 on the N64 emulator and there goes the rock so what's behind here oh invitation all right and we got plenty of ammunition so we can easily nab that and there's also a present down by the lake isn't there that we need to go get that would be our tenth red present I think I'm also going to check out that cave in the overworld and see if there are, see if there are any doors open um, inside it. Because I think it's the more ranks you get, the higher, um, the more stuff you collect in the game, the the doors start to open, so you can get other presents and stuff. I don't know if there are other presents in there or if there are invitations or whatnot, but we're going to find out if any of the doors are actually open. If not, then we'll come back after we've done the Aztec world. So there's another red present, so that gives us up to a total of 10. And I know that there's another red present outside, um... 
outside the mushroom town, which we need to go to next. So we shall now head over there and get our. I think that's the last red present we need to get in this world. Um, we've also got to go back to Vultureville, and I'm going to make a save just in case I die. <laughs> So we got double digits on everything now. We got double di we got double digits on red presents and blue presents and invitations. So we're doing pretty good actually in progress. I know there's another rock down here. I think that's the red present that I'm thinking of actually. It's there's a rock like ugh, I hate the mushrooms. Damn it. <laughs> he I didn't think he would turn around that fast, jeez. I thought he was going to like carry on up the path and then turn around. I know it's like he had eyes on the back of his head and then he suddenly turned around and attacked me. I don't know where I'm going to end up. Probably out on the entrance of Claw Swamp if that's the case and I'll make a cut because I'm not going to show you me going all the way down to Mushroom Town again. Because uh, that's quite a ways down. We've got a walk. So yeah, let's just see where we end up. Oh no, we're right here. Okay, that's good. That's very good. It's cool with this game though, because you make a save and then you end up straight where you are, straight where you left off. So that's really good. But sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes it takes you back a little ways um, back. In in the world. All right. Okay. I know there's an acorn down here that I can get, isn't there? No, I must have picked it up then. Well, there's the rock. I see it. I saw it down there. All right. I don't know how I'm gonna get past this fella. I'm just gonna jump straight over. There we go. And this should be where another red present is, right? Was that it? What? No, that can't be it. What just... Well... that I, th I was expecting there to be a red present or maybe even a cave back there, but... No... Then we have to actually go through Mushroom Town to get it, then. Because I don't see how else we're going to get it. Alright, let's go through here, then. After I've been through Mushroom Town, I'm going to make a cut and I'll see you guys in Vultureville because it'll be quicker that way. And you know where Vultureville is anyway by now, so I don't need to show you me going back there. I'll just make a cut and it'll be a lot easier and it'll save me time too. So let's keep on... Uh, no, that's it's this door right here, isn't it? Yeah. Let me go through to get out. God, I should know my way around this place already. So I recorded Mother One today. That is uh, my new Let's Play that I'm going to be uploading today. And uh, yeah, the first episode went pretty good actually. I did some. Uh, I didn't really get to do much in it though, because there's not really a whole heck of a lot you can do because you need to do grinding at the start to actually get your level high enough so you can fight the enemies at the beginning because the enemies at the beginning of the game are actually quite tough believe it or not, yeah kinda hard to kill right, this is the big barn house we have here yeah this is easy, just run straight through it don't need to bother with those, oh god not these guys and I think this is actually it where we have to break open the rock so I'm going to make a save. i get rid of those. Oh, stay away from me, dude. Wait. No, that is where the... Oh, right, okay, we're near the lake. Yeah, we're near the lake. Um. Well, what do you know? We might have already done everything that we needed to do then in the overworld, I think that's it for like red presents and stuff, apart from that cave that we need to go to. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's it for everything. 
um, oh, there's no more red presents I need to get uh, in Mushroom Town. There are no more red presents I need to get in Claw Swamp. There are no more red presents I need to get in Crow Keep. There is one red present I need to get in Vultureville. So really, there's only Vultureville I want to check out. There's that cave I want to check out, and then that's it. We can head over to the Aztec world. Because I know that there's nothing else in any of, in any of the other caves. Because I know that I've explored every cave. So, well, we're gonna go through here anyway and see what's through here. Because I, it's just to double check and make sure that there are nothing. There is nothing else here. I just want to clear my doubts. Because I know this takes you to the entrance where the boss is, but like I don't know if there is anything. Oh shoot, no, don't kill me now, please. There are no more rocks, right? Cool. Okay, make a save, just in case you die. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, crow killed me. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> Stupid crow, get out of here. Hmm, it doesn't look like it, no. Well, there is nothing else here, so I'm going to make a cut, and I will see you guys in the entrance of that cave, so I will see you then. Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm back. Right, okay, so we're going to go into into this cave. I have actually checked in here, off screen. I didn't do anything inside the rooms, though, but there are doors open, and one of which is all the way up here. It's not that door, because we've been in there, and that's where all the acorns and all the conkers were. It's this door right here that wasn't open before. And there's just conkers, in. no not conkers, acorns. But acorns is what we need to get our health back, so it's all worth it. And that door's not open yet. I don't know if this door down here is open though. Uh, no, that one's not open. Alright, okay, is this one open? No, so we've only opened one door in here. Well, that's a darn shame. <laughs> When do the other doors open then? Is that like after you beat the Aztec world or something? Well, maybe if we get a present from uh, that red present from Vultureville, maybe our rank will go up and we might actually get a uh, another door open in there. Right, I'm going to make a cut so I'll see you guys in Vultureville. Okay guys, I'm back. Alright, so we're in Vultureville now. And I believe the rock is all the way at the back of this house. So here's another red present. That gives us up to a total of 11. And that's all the red presents and stuff that I know of right now anyway. I don't know if there's a, any other red presents. I'm pretty sure, 100% sure, that there are no red presents left for me to get in this world. So we have 100 percent of it, and that's all we need to do. So now we can leave. And... <clears throat> Gonna double check that cave again. And if there's nothing else open in there, then we are going to head over to the Aztec world. But don't worry, once we're done the Aztec world, we'll be able to come back to the overworld again. So if there's any other stuff that I find out on the internet or something, I'll come back and I'll um, get those stuff, those missing things in the worlds. Like if I have to go back to Crow Keep because I missed something there, I'll go and get it. Or if there's something I've missed in Claw Swamp, which I highly doubt. Then I'll go back there and get those items. So after we've been in this cave, I'll go to um, the Aztec world and leave it off there, I think. So, we'll see if any other doors are open. Nope, that one hasn't. Well, if there be any door that's opened, it'll be one of the bottom ones. So. Nope, nothing's opened. Right, okay, that's fine. We can leave then. Just needed to clear my doubts, because you never know. Because I don't even know how those doors actually open, whether you get so many red presents or stuff, or whether your rank goes up, it's really weird. And this is the way to the Aztec temple, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> Still the way up here. Mm. I don't really want to risk taking any any more damage here because I'm on low enough health it is, health as it is right now. Oh come on, that missed every I missed every single shot on that thing. 
Alright, so here we go guys, this is it. The entrance to the Aztec world. Spooky, spooky, scary, scary indeed. Right, so I'm going to do this in the next episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Conquers Pocket Tales, we make a start on what is the final world, technically. Um, so until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care everybody, see you in the next video, and goodbye.